Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing The Time Machine. So The Time Machine came out in 1960 and it's based on the classic novel by H.G. Wells. This film stars Rod Taylor as a Victorian inventor who invents, well, a time machine. And this time machine is made up of a chair. And what happens is at the start of the film, the film starts off around 1899, going into 1900, so just towards the end of the 19th century. And um, Rod Taylor, he's explaining to his friends how he has invented a time machine, although he has a little miniature version of it at first, and he shows how it completely disappears. His other friends are slightly, skeptic um, are slightly skeptical of um, what, what is happening, but then Rod Taylor, he explains about the fourth dimension, which is time travel, and he explains how the time machine is still there, but it's there many years in the future. Eventually, we see that Rod Taylor has a full-scale version of this time machine um, in this room that he has at the back, and he then uses it to move forward into the future. So he goes forward to the year 1917, where he finds that the country is at war. He then goes forwards again to the year 1940, where he finds the country is in a different war, this time with lots of planes flying across the skies. Then he decides to leap forward a great amount. He goes forward to the year 802701, and he finds that the world looks completely different. There's lots of trees everywhere, and there's this great sphinx um, right in front of him. But he then goes on to find that the human race has been split into two different groups, the Eloi and the Morlocks. So the Eloi are a group of people who are very shy, um, generally don't really talk very much, generally don't really do very much. Um, and then we have the Morlocks, who are really the predators and who feed upon the Eloi. Rod Taylor finds himself in a situation where he has moved forward so far in time and he was expecting things to progress so much. He's expect expected that mankind has made all sorts of improvements in science and technology. And he finds this, which is a bit confusing for him and slightly disappointing. So obviously this film is a classic science fiction film from a classic novel. So a lot of people may be familiar with the story. I myself haven't read the novel and I hadn't previously seen any adaptation of the novel. So not even a TV series or any other films. So this was actually fairly new to me, although I was familiar with what the time machine looks like. And overall, I have to say... I enjoyed this film. It was really good fun. In some ways, it's a very simple storyline. It's about a man who travels into the future and obviously finds that things are very different to what he expected. Um, there is a bit of a romance angle in this film, um, but um, it doesn't really go too far. It sort of develops a little bit towards the end. And yeah, it's a fairly nice sub um, subplot of the story. But really, most of the story is focusing on Rod Taylor going to the future and what I really like about this film is that it explores the idea of progress and making improvements in technology, making developments over time and you see that Rod Taylor's character obviously he's an inventor and when he goes to the future he wants to find some books and he finds out that there was a library but all the books have been left. They've just gathered dust over years and years and years and the people um, in the future, while well, the Eloy, they haven't bothered to learn things or educate themselves. And Rod Taylor is very disappointed in this to learn what it's like. And the film really just explores that idea of what it would be like in the future. I'm sure most people have wondered at some point what the future would be like, how things have improved, and the idea that in in some ways things move on, and in some ways things can go downhill things can not go as you might expect and that's what I really like now obviously this being a science fiction film we have these creatures called the Morlocks who are really I suppose the villains of the film they're the bad guys there are these um, evil creatures preying upon the rest of the characters and they're really good fun I really like I like the way that they look and um, the noises that they make we get some really excellent scenes and the scenes when they're first introduced, very effectively done. I have to mention the 
the music in this film um, does sound very dated. Um, I know this film came out in 1960, so it seems a bit unfair to say that. Um, but the music is often played very loudly, and it often seems to come out of nowhere. But it is it is often like that with these older films, and um, sometimes when the Morlocks are introduced, the music suddenly blares out really loudly, and I wasn't really expecting it, which does make the film seem dated, but at the same time, it does add to that excitement, it adds to the drama, and it certainly helps the audience feel involved in the danger that these characters are experiencing in the film. So for that, I do sort of like it, but at the same time, it can be a little bit distracting. If I was to have any other complaint about this film, it would be that the film does start off quite slowly. It does seem to take its time in introducing us to these characters at the start, um, and then eventually introducing us to the time machine, and then letting us move forward into the future. But once we're there, it really is good fun. So in summary, I think The Time Machine is a great science fiction film. If you enjoy science fiction movies, you absolutely have to see this. It's brilliant. However, if you're someone who doesn't like science fiction films, then this probably isn't going to be something to win you over. I don't think this is the best science fiction film I've seen. I can see lot, um, I think of lots of other ones that are better. But then again, it's by no means a bad film. It's a good science fiction movie and, you know, obviously you have to bear in mind this film came out in 1960 and, yeah, it's actually better than a lot of other science fiction movies that I've seen more recently. So um, I'm going to give The Time Machine a rating of 7 out of 10. Definitely check this one out if you're a sci-fi movie fan. So there we go, guys. So that is my view of The Time Machine. So what do you guys think? Have you seen this movie? Would you like to check it out? Please let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.